Shelly. Ask Shelly. This is the part of the show where you email questions to Shelly that you would never ask her to her face. All right, so let's ask Shelly. Time once again for Ask Shelly. You send your questions to Shelly at FM99.com. She answers them on Mondays at right around this time. Including these questions. Dear Shelly. I'm sitting here on the beach drinking a couple of beers and my friend hands me a sandwich. And this intrusive thought floods my brain. Why is it a sandwich? Is it because they are a simple beach pleasure that sometimes gets sand on them? Is it because a witch named Sandy made the first one? So what was my first action to answer this, you ask? Google? No, no, that's much too simple, much too much reading. Ask Shelley? Yes, yes, that sounds delightful. Please help solve my mystery. <laughs> Thanks in advance for at, at le- excuse me, for at the least entertaining my shenanigans. There we are, signed Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> She's adorable. Yeah. Uh, the bread enclosed convenience food known as the sandwich is attributed to John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. The Earl of Sandwich. A British statesman, a notorious gambler who is said to be the inventor in this of this type of food so that he would not have to leave his gambling table to take supper. Uh, that's what one site said on it. The modern sandwich is named after Lord John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. It's probably true to say the story might not be an accurate historical account, though. Lord Sandwich, a dedicated gambler, did not like to take his time out from gambling to have a meal. He would therefore ask casino waiters to bring him slices of meat between slices of bread, uh-huh. a, habit, a habit well known amongst his gambling friends. Because he was the Earl of Sandwich, they started to call it the Sandwich. Uh, people would say, I want the same as sandwich, so yeah. order a sandwich. Uh, though all historians agree that that's probably not completely true and that the sandwich has been around a lot longer than that, it is still the story we go with, so that's the answer. Very good. The Earl of Sandwich. Dear Shelley, here's a question for you. I was recently told by a friend, I live way out in the boondocks. I know there's a song that mentions this out-of-the-way place, but... Is it fictional or is there really such a place? A quick search on Google Maps brings up many places, watering holes and restaurants named Boondocks. But where exactly is it? Signed, Bob. (laughs) It's a Filipino mountain, actually. Really? The Boondocks is an American expression from the uh, Tagalog Filipino word, Boondock, which is Uh mountain. It originally referred to a remote rural area. It's now often applied to out of the way, considered backwards and unsophisticated by city folk. That's the official definition of it. Interesting. It uh, can also also occasionally refer to mountains in both Filipino and American context. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, that's like the number two definition on it. It's still mountain. Because that that word goes back a a long way in... uh... American, uh, you know, society. Uh, th- that song, there was a Down in the Boondocks or something like that. Sure. Some song from the 60s. Sure. So I think that, that something from um, uh, another culture was adopted in that long ago. Right. When, when the world was less traveled than they are now. You know, that's what seems interesting. And to me, yeah. mountain is kind of random, but okay. Very, all right. Yeah. Uh, dearest Shelley, I am not saying that I would or wouldn't But I wondered, is there any good reason as to why we do not drink pig's milk? We drink goat's milk. We drink almond milk. Obviously, we drink cow's milk. So why is pig's milk off the table? Signed, Chris. Uh, It's got nipples. You can milk it. And there you go. Pigs are mammals, as stated by the Encyclopedia Britannica. Therefore, you can milk a pig. The website On Pasture obtained a letter written by the Illinois Pork Producers Association that notes that pig's milk has a fat content of 8.5%, which is bigger than the 3.5% found in cow milk. And because of that fatty content, it's probably extra delicious. Mm -hmm. And nutritious. A Dutch farmer makes pig cheese, which he described as saltier and creamier than cow cheese. But according to this article in Slate that I found, the biggest reason why pig's milk has not become a huge thing in the United States Mm -hmm. is that pigs are not keen on being milked. 
That's what they wrote. Hard to do. Cows have been domesticated for many years, so they're very docile. If you get close to a to a milking sow, she will respond defensively. As one might imagine, a defensive sow is not an ideal milking animal. They add to that that the Illinois Park Pork Producers Association uh, wrote in their letters that pigs have 14 teats. That's more than the cows have. That's two more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Which would make extraction of milk more I complicated. Mean- uh, they say couple that with the complexity yeah. with the uh, fact that pigs mm-hmm. only produce 13 pounds of milk a day while cows produce 65 pounds. It becomes obvious which yeah, animal right. you would invest in, sure. in milking. Sure. Well, there you are. If you have a question for Shelly, send it to Shelly at FM99.com. In fact, uh, we encourage you to uh, do it in your own voice. Use your voice memo on your phone and uh, send us your question. Go ahead and ask it. Send us the voice file. Love to have it. Send it to Shelly at FM99.com.